What is up YouTube? So today is a very exciting day. We're gonna pull the engine and we're gonna put the new one in, the turbo engine. So I already, already went ahead and uh, removed all of the accessories and the manifolds. I took the drive shaft off and actually we're only a few bolts away from actually pulling, pulling the old engine out. So I'm thinking that's something you, you would like to see. So we're just gonna film that real quick. We got the crane ready um, with an engine leveler just to ease things. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the introduction. So let's go ahead and pull this shit out. All right, so engine is out um, from the car, and it was quite the struggle because um, the engine leveler actually doesn't tilt enough for the engine to come out. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to remove this one um, when I put the new engine in because I do not want to deal deal with that struggle again. Um, it did make some scratches on this. Uh, radiator support, but I think it will be fine. So I don't know what I'm gonna film next. If I'm, uh, it will probably be that we are putting the engine in. Um, I, I don't want to show all the small bits and pieces that we are going to do in the engine bay. So yeah, I think that's it. Hmm. Okay, so it's actually one week later. Uh, and we finished up some things in the engine bay. I put some of this foil on here as uh, heat protection. We tried to uh, kind of restore this heat shielding, but it didn't work. Um, uh, it didn't turn out so great, but it doesn't matter. It function over form. Um, we cleaned up a lot of the oil on the cross member and stuff. Um, so we're basically ready to put the new engine in. I put the the new turbo manifold on, if you come over here. I put the turbo manifold on um, with some new nuts. Uh, you do have to be mindful of that uh, you have to cut the studs on this one and one on the bottom right there because there's not enough uh, spacing between the, uh, I don't know what you call it, but there's there's not enough room for the the, the, the stud to actually be full length so you have to cut that but it's not that much um so we're ready to put it in kind of excited kind of very much ex excited so um but it, it won't i won't be able to start it until 
later this year uh, because I am selling my ECU and I need a new ECU and I need to do, redo the whole wiring harness for the engine and there's a lot of stuff that has to be done until I can start it before I can start it so that's how it is but um, let's shove it in and wrap this up Oh, and uh, I almost forgot the most important part. Um, I got a new flywheel. I got it from the Kangaroos team. I got the ceramic clutch kit. So this is a five point, I think it's five point seven kilogram flywheel uh, made out of chrome moly steel, and a ceramic clutch disc uh, sprung. So it's more drivable, and a and a uh, sex uh, clutch cover. Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's a clutch cover. Um, don't mind the surface rust. It's just been sitting for a while. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Looks kind of cool. Got to show it from the other side. So sick. That's so cool looking. Can't wait to see it with the turbo on. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, anyway, gonna put it in now. It is officially in the new engine. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. We're getting new lights soon. But yeah. <laughs> it's in. So yeah. Looks kind of cool. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, uh, it's it's not much, but it's it's at least it's at least something. Time is work. <laughs> it's not much, but time is work. So, yeah, it's it's not much, but it's it's something. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.